This little girl sends a text message to everyone in the world detailing precisely how much time they have left until they die, at first people think it is a hoax but when the 30 minute crowd all start dropping dead in funny ways they realize it's for real. One guy with decades left to live becomes a daredevil jumping off buildings but always surviving due to increasingly silly saves, she is EA, the only daughter of God, God is real and is a mean bastard who never gets off his computer. He manipulates reality via a personal computer which he forbids his family from accessing. God lives in an apartment in Brussels which he shares with his meek wife and his 10-year-old daughter Rhea. God spends his day intentionally making people miserable tapping out rules on his computer and fiddling with his train set. He giggles as he makes sure the toast always falls jam side down or that whatever few you are on will be the slowest. One day EA sneaks into his office and discovers how he has been mistreating humans. When they had lunch EA said that she didn't agree with God about the things he did to humans, this enrages God who then whips EA with his belt. EA decides to rebel against her father she comes to ask her brother Jesus that how to fix father's mistake Jesus told EA that she had to find his six disciples and help them narrate their own story and create a gospel EA then steals the key to her father's office and accesses the scheduled dates of death of every human in the world and releases the information to them via their portable telephones everyone with a cell phone receives a text message informing them exactly when they will die this forces some people to live in the present moment in gratitude while others see it as a chance to test the message's validity. EA then escapes from the apartment through a washing machine which provides a tunnel to the outside world. Wandering the streets of Brussels EA decides to follow in the footsteps of her brother Jesus, and write a brand new testament as her contribution to the human race. EA then met a homeless man called Victor on the street, she told him she had to gather six more apostles in order to end the tyranny of her father. Victor agreed to accompany with EA, meanwhile God in a rage follows EA through the washing machine determined to bring her back to restart his computer. The first apostle is a beautiful and reclusive woman. The whole neighborhood wanted to chase her and there are 218 people who are greedy for her body. Women think that she is a threat. But when she was a child she lost her left arm in an accident and feels nobody will love her. The tragedy of her childhood led to the suppression of her nature. Therefore that night EA arranged a nice dream for her. The second is a man who hates his work and his life. He has decided to never move from a bench in the park now that he knows the date of his death. His childhood dream was to be an adventurer. EA translates to allow him to converse with a bird this induces him to follow a flock of birds to the North Pole. Meanwhile God tries to follow EA down to the streets and finds that he's completely incapable of taking care of himself. He had to went to the garbage can for food. Although he's the god that creates humans life but no one knows who he is in here. He is assaulted by everyone he meets. He had a bad temper with doctor at the hospital, and snatched the child's bread, and he suffers all the mistreatment and frustrations he created for mankind. The third apostle is an old man that just had 83 days left to live. He is a sexually frustrated man who is awkward with women and remains lovesick for a German girl he met once as a boy. With the A's encouragement he becomes a voice actor for porn movies then he establishes relationship with his lifelong fixation. God discovers to his horror that the tunnel to his apartment has disappeared. He is trapped on earth powerless and alone. He takes shelter in a church where he has outrageous criticism of his son Jesus Christ. This provokes a charitable priest into beating him senseless and eventually deporting him to Uzbekistan with a group of illegal immigrants. The fourth apostle is a man who is fascinated with death and killing. He doesn't love anybody and grew up in an unhappy family. He purchases a rifle and shoots people knowing that since all death dates are already predetermined, they cannot be his responsibility. EA prods him to shoot a woman the first apostle. He hits her in her prosthetic arm, believing this to be a divine signal. He courts the woman and they establish a relationship and he learns to embrace life instead of death. The fifth apostle is an elderly woman trapped in a loveless marriage. Now that her husband knows he will outlive her by many years, EA persuades her to cheat on her husband she has sex with a young male prostitute, and then forms a love relationship with a gorilla. Her husband got angry when he came back home and saw what she did with the gorilla. The gorilla scares her husband away, to her delight. At this time, God also found out EA. They were chased to the river. EA took the tramp on the water but God without power couldn't do it. He fell into the water. 
The last apostle is a sickly boy who, when he discovered he had only days left to live, decided to live them as a girl. He wore a dress then walking in the campus. EA encourages him to live each day as the equivalent of one month. The police treated God as a legal refugees because he didn't identification card. EA and her apostles go to the seaside where hundreds of people have gathered to spend the last hours of their lives. An airplane which happens to be carrying God under police escort falls out of the sky and threatens to crash onto the beach and kill everyone. At the last moment, however, God's wife realizes that the number of apostles has grown to 18. Her favorite number, she explores her husband's workspace, unwittingly restarts his computer, and begins to configure a new life for mankind. She deletes the messages that notified people of their death date. The airplane regains altitude and a new creation is born under a flower-filled sky. All of the apostles also have a life that they always dream about. God keeps on searching without success for the washing machine with the escape hatch that will take him back to his apartment.